What's up, comic and pop culture fans? James with Minhunter Comics here. I'm just about to pull out of a driveway. Just got a collection. Literally just one long box. It's not even full. And yet, I think it was pretty good. It was averaging out about a dollar. It was actually like a dollar twenty-five each. But for what's in here, I thought that was really good. Let's show you. Okay, folks, let's get it started. And what we have here is a solid long box of nothing but near mint. Keys and small items, things like that. Now, I haven't done the full treatment. A lot of this stuff has not been uh, bagged and boarded properly. I usually like to double bag and board things and give it the full works. I like to write the significance on the back, but I'll be doing that shortly. Mainly, I just wanted to show you what we got first. Most of it is very high-grade newsstand, and like a half of this box is legitimate gradable candidates. Really nice stuff here. Final issue of New Mutants, first X-Force. So this guy, he's actually uh, almost like a mentor of mine. He has been doing this a heck of a lot longer than me. He's been in the antiquing and comic game for many Excuse me, Duke, I'm making a video. Sorry, guys, that was uh, my parents' dog. Hey, Shh. basically, he gets collections in, and usually, if there's enough meat on the bone, he'll give me a call, and I'm able to get a good deal and make some money on it myself. By the way, if you haven't read that, you're going to want to do that. Garth Ennis, the pro. Here we have an ASM 400. That's a new stand. It's pretty cool. And that actually, that seems to be better embossed than I often see. So that's pretty cool. Did get a nice run of Secret Wars. Again, everything needs a whole new bag and board. I usually double bag and board anything that I plan on selling. Classic Doctor Doom. A little bit more Secret Wars for you. A little more. And a little more, this is one of the ones that was not near mint. So there were a few that I didn't think were quite up to par, but you know what? You still pick up a Secret Wars 7 for like $1.25. This, however, is the first ever reprint in the U.S. of Hulk 181, so that's pretty cool. Then we've got this Psylocke Key, again, newsstand. It's a good book to get in a newsstand. That's like a $25 book, actually. Another classic right there. Did get a little good spot of some X-Men. Now, the book, he said he wanted to make everything. It was like $1.50. And if you really think about the numbers, it kind of seems like I actually got everything for a little bit closer to a buck. This is actually the first ever Sabretooth versus Wolverine comic. Pretty cool. Crazy to think. Uh, second appearance of Gambit. You're going to see a couple more of those, actually. going. I think there were actually a couple of these iconic Jim Lee covers right there, so you might see that again. I'm pretty sure. We've got 210, 201, which is a cable-related key. We have a 200. First Nimrod here. And I feel like 261 is something. I'm going off of memory. Unfortunately, I don't exactly remember. I just remember that it might be something. So let's keep it going. I did get the full run of the Tales of the Teen Titans. Oh, wait, where's the... There it is. Full run there. Those are pretty popular. And uh, he had this one ready for me. <laughs> so he knows me. He knows I'm a Green Lantern guy. And he actually gave me this big book right here, which actually... Uh, is the first, I don't know, 20 issues, maybe first 15 issues of Green Lantern Volume 2. Some people call it Volume 1. It's Volume 2. All right, then we have some still um, still unbagged poly bag, original poly bag newsstands, uh, which is great. Uh, this is actually the first cover appearance of Splinter. There he is right there, so that's pretty cool. Got a couple X-Factor number 1s. We got uh, some, uh, what am I trying to say? Newsy T2 movie adaptations. Speeding Bullets. If you've never read that, do yourself a favor. And I did grab some random stuff, like 400 of Fantastic Four. Not any key, really. But 
Again, this is the same guy that I got all those nine, eight candidates and they were all newsstands from. So this is that collection. First appearance of Apocalypse was in there. Very nice. And another X Factor number one. That one needs the uh, bag and board. And then moving along, Captain Marvel. I think this might be something. If it's not, it was. it's okay to strike out on. Did get Silver Sable, number one. You'll see that quite a bit, actually. And again, newsstands. The newsstands for the 90s and the fact that these books are in such crazy condition really bumps the value. Those last two books are pretty valuable right there. Check this out. Classic cover, man. That's a good one. I also have the Supergirl movie adaptation. I have first appearance of... Uh, um, actually, I forget what that is. 99, second to last issue. We have a Fisted Conchu, number one. We have an Iron Man 200. We have the first appearance of Ghost Rider 2099. And I did get some G.I. Joes, and I am sorry, I don't know hardly anything about G.I. Joe. I have not committed those to memory, so you will see those. I don't know what they are. Got a bunch of Star Wars in. Star Wars, Batman, and Spider-Man. Man, you see that? Especially in high-grade newsstands. Pick it up. These I know are not keys like that one. Well, at least I'm pretty sure isn't, but it's just another 90s newsstand in possible 9-8 contender, so I gotta pick it up. Same thing with this one, Spider-Man 51. Don't think it's a key, but you gotta do it, <laughs> you know? First X-Men 2099 newsstand, possible 9-8 candidates. Did get a bunch of these. I'll skip putting each one of these up. Uh, only one had a cable card, only one had the Deadpool card. Yep, here's another one. This was the one that was imperfect, though, a 268. And here's another one of those 261s. i got to find out what that is. Uh, Batman 66, that's just a trade paperback. But we did get some Jim Balant, Catwoman number one, Newsy. This is almost entirely an all-newsstand collection here. Hulk 400, another Silver Sable. Infinity War 1. First full appearance of the Midnight Suns, very nice. And a Midnight Suns number one, again, Newsy. Another T2, Newsy. First appearance of Thanos and Drax, reprint. And some of this Batman adventures, you'd be surprised how well the newsstands do. I'm going to see if there's any 9-8 candidates in there. Did get the X-Men Adventures, number one, newsstand, near Mint. Second appearance of Deadpool. First appearance of Kevin Fitzroy, is that his name? I don't remember. Uh, there's a classic, I think Jim Lee, I want to say. Another classic cover right there. That's actually like a $20 book. And then here's one of the... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Anti-Semitic books, un uncensored, keeping it going. Although I think the dogs are about to explode in the background because uh, someone just came home, so they're about to freak out. But we got some Batman high grades. We got some minor X-Men keys, all newsstand, all very high grade. We got another X-Men Adventures. Good stuff. A lot of this stuff, quite honestly, is stuff I wouldn't pick up if it weren't two things. Extremely high grade, I'm talking like possible nine eights, and if it wasn't newsstands. And yet this is almost all newsstands, all high grade. Watch out for this one, especially if it's the second print. This is the one that's debunked as the actual first preview of uh, Spider-Man 2099, and I got two of them, so that's cool. I always pick up ASM, first appearance of Legacy, still sealed and newsstand. I might actually try to submit that. NFL Super Pro number one, newsstand, of course. I could, I could see myself having a heyday of a submission with this. A lot of this stuff, especially the newsies, end up having a pretty shocking value. See, here's another G.I. Joe that I know is something, but I don't quite remember exactly what. And we are moving our way down. We've got uh, that classic alien costume possession. First appearance of um, Auron, I think. First appearance of Speedball. Full run of 
year three, which does include, albeit with a couple spine ticks, first Tim Drake, I got a full run of Many Deaths of the Batman, although it's fallen down. Yeah, I gotta get this stuff rebagged and boarded, that's okay. It's all part of the fun. Got a Newsy 416, got a perfect condition Newsy X-Men v. Dracula. That's got a nice value. Got a Newsy first King Shark. I don't even know what this was. It's kind of getting rare for me at this point to see stuff for the first time. I have no idea what that is. Thought it was cool, so I picked it up. Warlock and the Infinity Watch. Perfect condition Newsy. Another Hulk 300, or excuse me, 400. And looks like we're walking into a bit of Amazing Spider-Man here. 261, which is a key. 293. We've got some McFarlands. We've got some Larsons. Like this classic. And like this classic. Near Minty newsstands always work. There we go. First appearance of the Rose. Then we have, is that a Whitman? Pretty cool. Um, I don't know. It must be the Whitman because I'm not seeing a, a barcode down there. That's pretty neat. And a little bit more from the Craven's Last Hunt, like that. Classic. There's the Anniversary Issue 100 and third appearance of the Spot with Spectacular Spider-Man. And let's end our box. Oh, look, another first appearance of the Rose. This is, I actually made a video about ugly covers. I don't know how I forgot to mention that. My buddy can't stand that. He collects the entire run of ASM, and he says that he almost wishes that he could just not collect this issue. There's another one, a newsstand. Uh, another classic, Spider-Man Returns to the Classic Form. Second Wolverine v. Sabretooth. Hey, look, first cover appearance of Mr. Sinister. First appearance of somebody that I don't remember. And look, a full run of Kitty Pride Wolverine number one. This is a good, a solid, reasonable long box here. There's no grails, obviously, anything like that in here, but there's plenty of good stuff. Here's the Star Wars. This is like the ideal, if you're gonna spend a dollar per book, this is almost like best case scenario that it's at, at least is reasonable that you'll see. Did get a bunch of Star Wars. I'll have to check them, see if there's any 9-8 candidates in here. I'm actually seeing a spine tick or two on those black spine ones, that's okay. And I uh, did get the full run of Return of the Jedi adaptation. I apologize, I'm going a little quick here, but that's pretty cool. All right. I've actually, here's another book I've never seen. Eastman and Laird's TMNT Martial Arts Training Manual. That's pretty cool. We got a little Nocturna Detective. We did get some G.I. Joe that I picked up exclusively just because I saw it on Key Collector. Great app for finding keys. Um, but, you know, I don't know it, though. I don't, I'm not a G.I. Joe guy, so that stuff I just don't know. Let me skip through all these uh, X-Force number ones that I have a lot of. Let's resume with, I think I saved the best stuff for last, like the first Punisher ongoing series. Uh, I think I grabbed this one by mistake. That's okay. We did get a Infinity Gauntlet number one. We did get a Marvel feature number one. That's pretty cool. There we go, first Jubilee. Second appearance of Gambit, once again. I think that's the second time I've had that today. And then I've got some really high grade. Um, I don't, what's the year on that? Little Lulu. It's got to be 50, 1953 high grade. It's actually so high grade, I might grade it, even though I'm pretty sure there's no value. Uh, and I do like stuff like this. I like Gold Key. I like my Dells. Uh, Super Villains number one. Third appearance of Red Sonia. Four color to 11. Yeah, like, I, I enjoy stuff like that. I'll have to see if that's a Carl Barks right there. 
I got a John Carter, number one. We got two appearances of the first appearance of God Wolf, which is the final issue also, I believe, of Astonishing Tales. And this is a, um, what was this? The toothpaste Spider-Man thingy right there. Pretty odd. Uh, just a little bit of Silver Age, Brave and the Bold. First, Mike Grell on Green Arrow, fun fact. And then we've got a little bit more Golden Age, a little Bronze Avenger. We got a Tales to Astonish hidden in there. I don't remember if that one was a key. I'll be looking it up later for sure when I double bag. It did get one Silver Age. ASM in there, and I'm pretty sure this is a Nick Cardi Young Love, so I always grab that. Uh, I've been getting a lot of Superman in, so I kind of got a chill on the Superman, but you know what? If it's 12 cents, it's kind of a bestseller of mine, so uh, Sergeant Fury. <clears throat> then we've got a little pinch of Teen Titans, original run. Obviously, we're talking about 12 centers here. And this is cool. We have some classics illustrated. Um, and some of you may know this about classics illustrated, but they had like a billion printings of each book. And it's really rare that you find a first printing. No, almost none of these are, but they are like the second or third printing, which is still in the 40s. <laughs> so this stuff is really old. But I do have one in here. That is a first printing, and it is the biography of Benjamin Franklin. So that's pretty cool. I like stuff like that. You guys probably don't, but I think it's cool. And then we have uh, Silas Mariner. Pretty cool. And is that it? Let's see. Uh, pretty much. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I probably should have ended with that, but I'm going to end with a silver 75. And that's going to do it, folks. So this was a great example of a collection at a reasonable price. I'm going to get some reasonable profit from it. Get out there. Keep on hunting. This stuff is out there by the thousands. See you at the next video. Make sure to come down to Sentiment Depot Antiques and Collectibles, where I'm set up with all of my comics, located at 238 West Delaware Ave, Pennington, New Jersey. Open every day except for Monday and Tuesday. Enjoy 10% off from Wednesday to Friday. See you there.